Hey guys, it's Carrie from Red Curtain Addict, and today I'm in New York City at the magical, majestic theater to see an iconic show, The Phantom of the Opera. But before I do that, I'm gonna meet up with Megan Percherno. This is her Broadway debut, and I think we're gonna get a backstage tour. Let's go see. Megan, oh my gosh, I am so excited Hello. to see you. Hello, good to see you. Congratulations <laughs> on your Broadway debut. What has it been like being in New York City on stage as a fan of the <laughs> opera? Um, it's awesome. <laughs> I bet. It's, it's amazing. It's literally everything you could possibly imagine Dream. and not imagine actually, even right. more. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. For all those that haven't seen the show, what is something that makes this show iconic? It's the perfect blend of the music, the scenery, and the characters themselves. And the opera and the rock, right? Everything, the rock, the classical music elements, the the everything. It's yeah. I love it. So I've been a huge fan of Fan of the Opera, but I've never gotten the chance to go backstage. Do you think we can get a peek today? I think we can. So what's pretty crazy about Christine is she is on stage constantly, and when she's not, she's usually having a team of incredible pros taking her in and out of costumes, and this is where I come when I'm on the side of the stage. I know I'm very lucky, this doesn't always happen, but I am a lucky one, and all my costumes are brand new. So here is my wishing dress. You know what I found out? Um, this fabric, there is one place in Scotland that makes this one fabric, and the only reason they make it is for phantoms around the world. How cool are is that? Are you serious? Yeah, so wow. this is the Amnita dress. Um, and this is uh, in Past the Point of No Return. And you know what's funny is actually when I first had it, um, it was so poofed because it was brand new. It was like out oh. here. And I'm too small for that, so they had to literally like <laughs> steam it down. <laughs> so this is my wedding dress. Oh, and look at this. Oh my God, it's really heavy. She's super heavy. Bustle itself is 35 pounds. Just the bustle. <laughs> Breathe in that. Um, you know you do. So you need to head on stage. Soon. I have to go warm up. But and you have someone that's going to take us on the tour for the backstage I tour. I do. Right? Would you like to come here? Yes. Michael, thank you so much for this. You've been working with the Phantom of the Opera show for how yes, many years? For 21 years. Tell us about your role with the Phantom. So I'm the press agent for the show. Anything that the public sees, yep. basically my eyes make sure that it's perfect. I love it. So you know the ins and outs of this. I know stage. all the ins and the outs. Okay, what are we going to see first? I want to go right onto the stage and show you the stuff backstage. Let's do it. Let's go. This is incredible. Look at this One stage. Two. This is the infamous chandelier. Um, and so it's covered because it, it's revealed in, in right. a dramatic fashion in, in the prologue. Right. But you can see here. Um, all the beads. All the beads. The, oh, I mean, the 6,000 beads. It weighs gorgeous. a ton. Her name is Ruthie, too. <laughs> Ruthie too, not Ruthie one. one. Ruthie one lives in London because oh. London was first. Right above our heads, that is the Phantom's organ. <laughs> oh, what? But see, there's not there's not enough there. room to have everything on the deck, so things have to fly up. <laughs> so this is so there when is the, the scene comes, organ. it's about a half an hour into the show. That stuff all comes down and then gets you know um, moved onto the set that way. So here's like a whole truck of Christine's dressing room. Oh my god! The infamous mirror scene where the Phantom first beckons her. This is the boat. Oh, the boat! You know the famous scene when she's going through exactly the down to the lair. I mean, in terms of in terms of the whole show, it was about 150 people dealing with everything. But that's every, that's all of us. So it's like you know, it's the you know, it's also the crew and the front of house people and our that's crazy. you know, and all of so our guys, supervisors. When you clap. You aren't just clapping for the people on stage. There are so many people behind the stage. And you can't even see this, but the giant staircase of Masquerade. Yeah. I bet you can't believe this. It is literally way up here. You can't even see it. Are it's so serious? high up. And every night they fly it in and kind of, you know, and angle it yeah. out. So. so we are right now going to go under the stage. This is a view that not many people get to really? see. So this is this kind is of a big special. deal. This is great. Okay, that is creepy. Okay, that's not real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the catwalk for probably the Phantom. <laughs> did his thing. Okay, so is this actually the floor? Did they have to dig in to get all these in we there? We had to excavate because the really? show was so big it would not fit in the size of the theater, which is a big Broadway theater. So we had to literally dig into the earth to make That's it incredible. deep enough. The candelabra oh. that come up through 
the stage, wow. right? These are all the candles that in the <gasps> boat scene. I have to ask, what is one of your favorite things? You know, you've seen this so many different times over sure. the last 20 years. What have you loved about Phantom? The show is completely consistent. Mm. We have a team of people working constantly to make sure that it is the same fresh, beautiful look mm -hmm. from opening night. We're constantly updating it to make sure that it is, it's the best quality without losing the kind of vintage feel that the period piece requires. I love that. So there yeah. you go, guys. You heard it from Megan and Michael themselves, who have been in Broadway for 20 years, just for the fan of the opera, and Megan as her debut. And if you want to see or hear our interview with Megan Puccino about her career and her Broadway debut, make sure to check that out at redcrewnet.com. And come to Majestic, put fan of the opera on your New York City bucket list. It is a must.